Welcome to another Iron Wheel video. Today's video will entail Fat Logic Reddit posts. So strap in and let's see how this goes. You are fat phobic if you believe it is a fat person's fault for being fat. What? Seriously? What? This is like the most dumbest thing I've ever read. It's it's kind of like saying it's kind of I, I I don't have any words for this. It's just it's just stupidity. It's just who else's fault is it? Huh? Is it the world's fault? Is it society's fault? No, it's the person who's shoving their food in their face. Come on, get over it. I love that my gym does not sell pseudo scientific diet pills or muscle building supplements and that it has a yay scale in the locker. Now we can please get rid of the regular scale next to it. I don't think that's a real gym. Maybe a buffet. God, I don't know. How does these, who makes these scales? I mean, it looks like as if they're made from like some sort of arts and crafts section or maybe a car group cell or something I just I just can't figure out who makes this crap honestly it's like imagine if you got given a grade and you worked so hard at the end of it they just span a board with the A scale saying you did great wait a minute so if I didn't do any work at all I'll still get you did great so that means no one would ever work hard ever again Ugh. seriously these people how do you deal with kids and fat phobia? My five-year-old said to me this morning, fat is not normal. When are you going to be normal, mummy? I told her all bodies are normal and there is nothing at all about being fat, that all bodies come in different sizes. But at five years old, I don't know where she gets it, this stuff from. And to be honest, it hurts my feelings because she thinks I'm abnormal. I have two older kids who are very body accepting and seem to be quite free from diet culture to so I am not sure what happened to my youngest well I would say that your youngest five-year-old is not fat phobic she's just curious and I don't know how she got the impression and to be honest with you this is one of those posts where I think it's actually if they got rid of the fat phobia bit this would be quite a normal post in my point of view and quite reasonable to ask and I think the explanation which she gave to her daughter is very good. The bodies do come in all, you know, different sizes. I, I have no problem with people being fat. I just don't like people making complaints that they're being fat. I mean, I just, I think that the child is just telling the honest truth. I mean, we can't see the sizes. I mean, if she is like, you know, something like 200 pounds or 250 pounds, I mean, I mean, it's not great, it's not ideal, but it's not terrible. I mean, if she's like bed bound, and, you know, kind of like a hippo upside down, then maybe she, maybe the other you know, five year old's got a point. But to be absolutely brutally honest, I think kids at that age, they just tell the honest truth normally, and they just go straight for it. So I I would say that this child will probably go out of it, and it won't be such a bad thing. I mean, this post isn't so bad, so I'm quite happy to critique this post. I think, I think that um, expecting the child though to be completely posi positive and that kind of stuff at such a young age, they shouldn't be worried about this kind of stuff. And this person shouldn't be feeling so insecure about their child, to be honest, you're telling them the truth. A serious throwing blank and blank woman who has diagnosed with an endocrine system disorder called porostic ovary syndrome PCOS that has caused her to gain hundreds and hundreds of pounds I cannot believe they're using PCOS as an as the sole reason why they would gain hundreds of pounds it's true that PCOS may, will help you gain weight but it won't be the sole reason it's kind of like saying because I'm blind I don't know why I'm eating, therefore I've gained weight. I mean, my wife actually has this condition and she's had it for a few years and she's put on a little bit of weight because she hasn't put hundreds of hundreds of pounds on. 
she's put five pounds on. That's all it's done to her, and she has it quite severely. And I'm sorry, it does give you, it does make you gain weight, but not hundreds. You're just using it as a crutch to justify why you're gaining so much weight. So, yeah, that's quite sad when I think about it. Thin girls can smoke 50 cigarettes a day and have alcohol vendors every weekend and only eat KFC and you're all like here for a good time and not a long time but let a fat girl wear a crop top and it's like mmm this is promoting death and also the end of humanity. Well this is on both of the extremes isn't it? You got the 50 a day smoker who let's face it will have yellow skin who will stink and probably be quite thin but look very unhealthy and that isn't a good thing either that promotes unhealthiness that promotes death and the end of humanity as you put it um, but also on the other side I don't want to see a really fat person wearing a crop top or anything which pretty much look like as if well you know one of those sausages which have been wrapped around a string and the meat's just exploding because it's so tight I don't want to see that either to be honest with you and I'm not happy with anyone really walking around shirtless unless it's literally absolutely scorching weather I'm talking like 30 degrees plus and it's so hot it's just unbearable to wear a t-shirt I get that but not when it's like 5, you know, 5, 10 degrees outside and t-shirts and you know, oh let's take it off, you know I don't want to see anyone do that, period That's all folks and I would be eternally grateful if you would subscribe as that does help me out and I am aiming to uh, bring out a few more videos in the next couple of weeks so uh, subscribe and see what those ones are like. Ciao.